Malignant gliomas are the most common type of brain cancer. Few patients survive more than a year and a half after diagnosis. At Duke University, Dr. John Sampson says the poor outcome is partly due to the many different types of cells in brain cancers. While well, one cell may be susceptible to chemotherapy and another susceptible to radiation, there may be a third cell that's susceptible to neither of those standard therapies. Some doctors hold out hope, if not for a cure, for a longer life. 24-year-old PJ Lukak is one of the researchers. He has glioblastoma, the deadliest form of brain cancer. When I started in the lab, it was a very surreal experience because they talk about uh, uniform fatality, uh, they talk about inevitable recurrences of the cancer, and that kind of just hits you. But Lukak is also hopeful. I think in my lifetime, we will see uh, glioblastoma become a chronic and manageable disease. Surgery is still the preferred option to remove as much of the tumor as possible, but a new treatment involves using fiber optic laser probes placed inside the brain tumor. With a burning hot laser, doctors can destroy cancerous tissue they may not be able to reach during conventional surgery. Doctors Gene Barnett and Stephen Jones use fiber optic lasers at the Cleveland Clinic. This allows us to steer the laser in different directions to treat larger areas of tumor and protect normal brain. We can monitor the temperature rise in the tumor second by second as we're scanning the patient. And better than that, we can see where we are killing the tumor. The beauty of the system is that it allows us to turn off a laser just when the heat wave would reach the point where it could harm normal tissue. Vaccines are also in clinical trials. The vaccine could help the body's immune system attack the brain cancer cells. Ryan DeGrand receives a vaccine once a month for his brain cancer. He has now survived five years. The vaccine is a way for me to stay the way that I am today. Researchers are also experimenting with drugs to choke off the blood supply to brain cancers. Initial studies show they can shrink the tumors by up to 60 percent. Many doctors say using several treatments in combination soon after diagnosis will probably be the best way to fight brain cancer.